But then your goddamn demons attacked and we all had to ride Solomon Shrine up into the sky to escape. The world was ruined. And of course, Toll just had to stay behind with Commander Tova to buy time for the rest of us. Oh, how they praised him for his gallant sacrifice. And then, despite all my hard work, I was just Toll Fact's little brother again, brother to one of the greatest heroes of Ys. That still seems to be all I'm known for. I fought so hard to crawl out from that shadow, I need to be pulled right back in. Story. Mode. Time. Unica didn't get all these fancy anime things, like pictures. She didn't get many, anyway. Dots. You've infected her with dotitis. I know I'm basically just lashing out at him. It's totally illogical for me to be as angry as I am, even after what he's done. But that doesn't change the fact that I really, truly want him dead. His betrayal just makes his that attitude a lot easier to justify. <laughs> Hello? Why can't I? Okay. He shamed our family enough just by forfeiting his right of succession so he could become a knight. But there's still honor in knighthood. He took an oath to protect East and the goddesses after all. Left mouse button isn't working apparently anymore. Then he trampled that oath into the ground, and for me, that's the final straw. He's beyond redemption. Um, you were kind of rambling there, so I'm not sure I really understand all of what you were saying. But the long and short of it is, you still love him, right? What? Whatever. Were you even listening to me? How could you possibly have gotten that from any part of what I just told you? Well, you want what he's got, so you're trying to be just like him, right? Or I guess it's bad to say you want to be respected and looked up to by your father and everyone else the way he is. And you're frustrated that you can't seem to measure up. That sound about right. Uh, I got a big brother of my own too, so I totally get where you're coming from. Oh, you kind of want to be nice to him, but then you also kind of want to wring his neck sometimes. And your parents are always saying things like, why can't you be more like your brother? And it's frustrating as hell. Hell wasn't frustrating, it was fun, because you love him, but he's just such a pain in the ass, you know? You don't get it at all. Huh? I said you don't get it at all. You've got one hell of an imagination, you know that? Why would I ever have the slightest inclination to be anything like him? That's pretty absurd. No, patently, what? Patently absurd, I, was, I prefer pretty absurd. I don't know, I've been told I'm pretty good at reading people. By who? Some more dumb idiots, obviously. But hey, if you say I'm off the mark, I won't push them out any further. I'll just leave it right where it lies. It's the least I can do to thank you for opening up to me. Dots. I thought we were free of them. This is kind of nice, you know? I thought I had paid you as this uptight, self-important asshole. And I pretty much hated your guts. But now, I don't know, I guess you're really not so bad after all. It's like you're an extra smug version of me. With a penis and no chest to call. Is that supposed to be a compliment? Sigh! This whole ordeal has me completely worn out. Didn't you say you were ordered to abandon this place? If so, I think it might be best for you to follow those orders now. <laughs> Alright, I can do that. Just so you know, though, it's not possible for regular people like you to get through that door, no matter how hard you try. But the goddess lady is definitely in there and she's safe, so don't worry, okay? I'll catch you later. Meow. Never mind, she's going really slow, so it's more like... Meow. Epona, was it? May I ask you one last question before you go? Have you ever been ridden? Oh, no, dots. Sure, but I can't guarantee I'll be able to answer. Technically, I've already asked this, but I feel compelled to ask again. Simply put, I'm your enemy. Why are you going to all this trouble on my behalf? Sai! Now you've infected her with Psyitis. Sorry, but my answer hasn't changed. I honestly have no idea. I guess I just wanted to give it a shot, you know? Come to think of it, it really doesn't make a whole lot of sense. What the hell is wrong with me? Yeah, really. Dots. That's what. Haha. <laughs> You're an oddball. Well, weren't you supposed to be good at reading people? Oh, shut up. Men always latch onto such trivial details, such as boobs. They latch onto those all the time. I've said my piece. I'm out of here. Besides, if I'm late getting back, I'll never hear the end of it from Zava. Java. Alright, I'll let you go. But thank you, Epona. No. No, not. You're welcome, Hugo. But just so you know, next time I see you, I'm going to have your head on a silver platter and eat it with a spork. Just to make it more insulting. So you better keep it nice and clean for me here. Don't worry. I've never... <coughs>
Whoa, that's dodgy. Don't talk while sneezing. Don't worry, I have no intention of holding back myself. It promises to be one hell of a fight. Yeah. Okay, that was far too long. Hopefully that was the longest. Now then, what to do next? Oh, good, Fraps didn't die. Can't rescue Lady Fina without opening that door, but according to opponent, regular people like me are incapable of getting through it. That basically confirms that it's been enchanted with some sort of powerful curse. How does it confirm that? Thoughts, that's why. How? I mean, and sadly, curses lie firmly outside of my area of expertise. As much as it pains me to see counsel with a search party, I may need Kadena's advisement on this. Ding! Ding! Right. Let's use the shell rather than go all the way down there. Oh, I can use it while floating. Hugo spoke into the shell, Eola's voice echoed back in response. Not you. Ah, oh, Hugo, is that you? I hope you haven't been waiting too long. The lights were ambushed on their way to Rado's Annex. Maybe a while yet before they get there. I see. Well, I'm already here. Whoa, he landed. But I seem to have run into a bit of a roadblock. Hugo briefly detailed his encounter with the cursed door and asked Eola if Kadena might be able to help. Sure, I'll, have, I'll contact her right away and ask her to meet you there. So you have to do that to progress. How are you supposed to know to talk into the shell? Whoa. Oh no, not Miusha as well. Oh boy! You weren't kidding, this thing's got one hell of a curse on it. Just looking at it makes... No, just looking at it makes me feel tight in the chest. It's because your boobs are imploding. Ah! If it helps, that woman said regular people would never get through. Her choice of words there seemed deliberate. Do you have any idea what she might have meant? I think so. I have a theory anyway. Best, I, best as I can tell, it'll only open for a demon or someone harboring demon-grade malice at the very least. It's honestly kind of ingenious. I mean, what better way to keep out do-gooders than by locking the door with pure hatred? So you pretty much have to be evil if you want to get in? In other words, a door designed solely for people like him. It really is quite a curse, and it's not just the door either, the whole room is affected by it. It's like there's an impossibly strong barrier all around it, that, it, that no matter, thar, that no amount of brute force could possibly penetrate. Thoughts, because he's thinking about penetration now. Uh oh, don't tell me you tried already. Yes, and one could say it that it went poorly. So, is there nothing at all we can do? Lady Fina's trapped in there, after all. Yeah, we can't just leave her. Isn't there any way to fool it or something? Hmm. If we could get our hands on one of the enemy's magic items, we might have a shot. What do you mean? Something with an equivalent curse on it. Particularly if it's something wearable. Assuming it doesn't... Kill whoever pulls, whatever poor sap tries it on, that might just do the trick. Wow, I don't like the sound of that at all. I think you might be assuming too much there. No one would be able to survive a curse that strong. Not under normal circumstances, no. But our only other option is to capture one of the enemies alive, so it seemed worth mentioning. Sweat drops. Yeah, I think that's even less likely. Oh. No. Alright then. I'll head back into the town and see if I can find any magic items that might serve our purpose. In the meantime, I'd like for you two, the two of you, to keep this area secure. The knights should be arriving here any time now. You go. Sounds like a plan to me, things that bother you. Sorry, I was just making sure I was using the right voice still. In fact, it sounds always too good to be true. Hmm? You're actually communicating and coordinating with others. It's like some kind of miracle. Isn't your usual MO to do everything by yourself? What happened? Nothing in particular. I just know my own limitations, and this is not a field of magic I'm familiar with, thus I defer to the expert. Huh, <laughs> alright, I guess I could buy that. I'll be right here. Let us know if you find anything that might work. Be careful, Hugo. I won't. So I've got this ring, right? Hmm, what's that ring you've got, may I see it? Pika showed the evil ring to Kadena. Well, it's definitely demonic in nature, but it's been drained of all its power. If you look closely at it though, its design does seem to match the one on the door. Maybe it's connected in some way. Okay, yeah, right, so the enemies are going to be there. So we're going to go and take them out. 
Oh, what? It's sealed here. The crystal's power is sealed here, is what it said. Now, we float. No, we can't afford anything again yet. I need to see how much space I've got left. Yeah, I'm actually kind of out of space, so I'm going to have to do this next time. Right, see you then.